Hi there Pokemon fans, Valjuman101 here with our Scrappy Skirmish review and MVP roundup of the tournament for you. Um, so this is not going to be too long a video, but I just want you to run through um, how we did in total on Scrappy Skirmish, where we finished in the rankings and how the team did as a whole. Um, so these are in order of MVP. So starting off in 6th place was Chuckles Archon Kelder, who was rocking Guts, he was Abdomen with a Flame Orb, and moveset was Map Punch, Drain Punch, Knock Off and Stone Edge. Um, we actually changed his moves up to what I usually run, we usually run Ice Punch, but we rock Stone Edge purely to deal with Volcarona, Volcarona which came in clutch in that one match. Uh, unfortunately, we did miss one in one, which cost us the game. Um, so Chuckles came to a total of eight games. Um, he was knocked out six times though and managed to pick up four Ks, which gave him a minus two differential. Um, fifth on our MVP list was going to be Battle Cat R Arcanine. Uh, Rocking Intimidate, he was Impish uh, with Rocket Helmet, who was max defense, max hit points. Um, so no surprise that one of our walls is quite low down in this to be fair. Um, he was rocking Willow Wisp Flare Blitz Morning Sun and Extreme Speed. Although um, he put in a lot of work in terms of intimidating Willow Wisp coming in really clutch in some matches. Um, he played 8 games in total and was knocked out in 5 of them. Uh, and picked up 3 KOs which gives him a minus 2 differential overall. Uh, fourth on our list was Alron. So uh, Melotic. So no real surprise there that our walls are quite low down on this list. Um, Elrond was rocking Marvel Scale, Serious Nature and Leftovers and was rocking the moveset Recover, Skull, Toxic and Icy Wind which we swapped from Ice Beam which we usually run in singles just to give us some speed control. Um, he played a total of 5 games and was knocked out twice um, but he only picked up 2 KOs in total which gave him a differential of none. Um, so he comes in at 0, um, so broke even to be fair, to, uh, fair and put in a lot of work. I think he came, to quite, yeah, he came to quite a few of the games as well so he came to at least half the games. Um, Third on our list was uh, Rose, Rosie our Roserade. So, um, with Natural Cure, Modest Nature, and packing the Assault there, so we can soak up some super effective hits. Uh, we got a really varied moveset on there. So, Giga, Dr Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Bomb. So, quite a lot of stuff on there, so we can deal with a few. Uh, one of our special attacking mons and put us some good work. Um, she played a total of seven games, got knocked out four times, but picked up six KOs, which gave her a differential of plus two. So, really put in some of the finest work there for us. Um, third, second on our list, sorry, is Flygon. Um, so Flygon actually only came to two games. Um, he was a last minute addition to the team, but we're putting some good work for us. Um, he was not knocked out in any of the matches that he played and picked up three KOs. Granted, two of those KOs were in one turn, but um, for those of you who watched the match, it was a really good turn. Um, and gave him a plus three differential, so rolled him there to Flygon. Um, Flygon was rocking the ability Levitate. Um, he was abdomen and was focus sashed. I uh, wasn't quite sure how handy focus sash was going to be, but it seemed like a good idea to pop it on there. I think it came in clutch in one of the matches. It definitely came in clutch on one of the bonus matches, which will be uploaded. Um, after this video. Um, he's rocking Tailwind for support, just try and give us a speed boost because our team wasn't particularly fast and Metagross and Conkeldra and the Tailwind can be scary. Uh, Dragon Claw for Stab, Earthquake for Stab and Protector Scout. So a bit of a varied move set, a few changes to what I usually run in single, um, but some of those moves really came in handy. Tailwind came in particularly useful in the one matchup. And our MVP of the tournament was, probably not a surprise to anybody, but Mega Metagross. So Mega Metagross came to all 10 of our matches. Um, he was only knocked out three times and picked up 11 KOs, which gives him a differential of plus eight. Um, obviously running the ability Tough Claws once he was Mega with a docile nature and carrying Metagross items. Um, Moveset was Bullet Punch, Meteor Matters, and Hebra and Protect. Protect being a light thing, we had Rock Earthquake on there before. Um, but Protect coming in really clutch, um, you know, being able to get our Mega off for free and then start wrecking the shot. But that is an absolutely kicker at plus eight and how much work these Pokemon did. Um, so now we'll jump onto the results for you guys. So. Hopefully you can see that quite clearly, but these are the best images I could pull up of it. Um, so our world ranking came in at 1,144th in the world. Um, so not too bad. We could have played a few more games, but I ran out of time. Unfortunately, we may well have broke top 1,000, which would have been brilliant. Um, but still quite pleased with it overall for our first tournament. And in the UK rankings, we actually came 33rd. So really pleased with that. And again, if we'd have managed to get some few games up, a few extra games in, who knows? Uh, we'd have either gone much further upfield or we'd have plummeted down into the depths of obscurity so but I'll quite happily take 33rd, 33rd in the UK for our first online tournament really really pleased with that result um Phil the team did really well overall we had a couple of misplays and a bit of bad luck not go out with RNG but you no know, that's Pokemon that's just for late plays um 
Thanks for watching the video guys and if you enjoyed it hit that like button down below or leave a comment in the comment section I'll try to reply to any that are left and if you really enjoyed it and are looking forward to the bonus matches hit that subscribe button to get notifications for when they go live. Uh, if I don't see you around guys I will see you on Battlespot. Take care for now. Bye.